guys, here we are with another new guest who dis. And Brian, who is our guest today? We got the boys in 1837. Woo! Golf clap. Yes, sir. Golf clap for the boys, Brian. <laughs> Golf clap for the boys. <laughs> <laughs> How you guys doing? What what y'all been up to lately? Uh, we just we just finished up a bunch of shows uh wrapping up last year and uh uh, we're getting our shows ready for uh, 2024, um, and then uh, we're working on a new EP. So hey. that's uh, that's our that's our plan for the year. How far are you in that process? Kind of just work, workshopping the songs, you know? Uh, oh yeah, the songs are are there. You know, we got some ideas, and uh, uh, just time to just you know put them together. And, and, we just uh, haven't done a full jam yet, but we got ideas rolling. So. Okay. So let's see what we're about to do, because now we got three new gents, two that have been for over a year with us, and okay. the newest, our bass player, Leo. But yeah, Leo, yeah. Hey, see, dude. the vibes have been good with these guys, and yeah, we're digging it, man. This is family now. Hey, man, you know, uh, we, we kind of talked to you guys a little bit uh, on the Christmas episode about some of, you know, the basics, but... Um, why don't for this now, you know, now where they're doing a full length interview, why don't you give us a little breakdown of the band, a little, little band history, if you will. Yeah. You started uh, so me and Calvin, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you want, but me and Calvin actually yeah. started this band like, man, six years. It feels like six years, but I think we did it before that. We just okay. ran around with names, but yeah, once we got it together, we knew the foundation and the sound and. It just came naturally, honestly. The the practice space that we're at right now, uh, he was a uh, bartender, and we had like one song that we played over and over, called uh, "Brother of Mine," and I would like meet him up after he got out of work at like four in the morning, and we'll come to, the, okay. to one of the rooms in this space, and we just crank that song out until, <laughs> and we even played it without the. I think we played it without a drummer once. It yeah, that song. Me. That's one of our first songs that we might bring back. Um, okay. it's a really, really passionate song. If you saw us in the beginning days, you would have caught us kind of a cappella style that mm-hmm. just me and him. No one ever like really learned it. It was just kind of like our our connection song to just give everyone like how deep we are about this. Very oh no, cool. we did we did use that song with uh we had the with guys in Mo or uh Tip and Stay, uh uh Pedro yeah. and uh and uh Connor. Oh yeah, we yeah yeah pretty much. Uh, we had this band called Heavy Hearted that was right before eighteen, and I guess it was kind of like a pre eighteen. We were just kind of too experimental in a way, something like that. But we ended up finding more of our traditional metal and hardcore, and just blending more to groove into it. Hey man, sometimes it takes some uh, workshopping, you know, yeah. with sound. Yeah, you guys with know that. Names. Oh yeah. Yeah, Vicious Attack, this this band right here, <laughs> they uh, <laughs> they were Demon Seed when they first started, but then some band uh, out of Baltimore threatened to sue them <laughs> if they didn't change the name. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's a yeah. story for me, actually. Yeah. So, Not Baltimore. Demon Seed. Yeah, yeah. Is Demon Seed still together? I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> Check if it they out. they aren't. Yeah, there's a there's a black metal 1837 uh, band, oh, really? uh, so we thought we were gonna have a problem with that, but so we slapped uh, ETS on the end of it, oh, which uh, originally just stood for 1837, so it's 1837, 1837. <laughs> yeah, hey, <That's laughs> so yeah, we came works. over that. So like, yeah, why, we, um, quick question. Uh-huh. So why are like 1837? Like, what is um. Like, is that, like, a, a year to represent something, or as to, like... No, it's just, that's how heavy I like my women. No, I'm just... <laughs> 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 oh, I'm just my girlfriend right here. <laughs> <laughs> he actually came up with that name when yeah. we were trying to come up with a new name. We were going through a few. I remember Pagan Youth was one of them. Oh, yeah. That was cool, but and then this guy just he just came out as like 1837. I was like, Whoa, what is that? That's what Chicago became a city. Uh, I was like, Oh, yeah. Really oh, so that seal you see that we have the whole seal, uh, you see it's kind of just like the one that every 
Chicago politician stands on you see on the podium. Oh, it has that circle. Okay. So yeah, you'll always see 1837 on there. Yeah, but the okay. band was not established March 4th, yeah. 1837. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was Chicago's uh, birthday, I believe. <laughs> no, that's pretty dope, actually. Yeah. But yeah, this man came up with that. And I was fucking, I honestly felt like that was our corn name. Yeah. I was not like, no, yes, man. that's the one. And, and honestly, this was like, he designed this too. Oh. This is nice. his art piece. Yeah. Very cool. And he fucking like made it come to life after that shit. Now, uh, what do you guys use typically when it comes to like album artwork and stuff? Like, what what themes do you have in your songs that would influence that? Do you know what I do? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, I would say like, uh, well, when I, I don't know when I when I, when I, I think I was like looking at Gorilla Biscuits and like their okay. logos and shit. And uh, I got that yeah, when vibe. I drew right up. For sure. Yeah, when I yeah. drew it up, I just wanted it to look more like weathered and you know, someone kind of like in pain or screaming or something. Mm-hmm. And uh, I guess, uh, I guess a song that kind of reflects the the uh, logo is uh, thirty two counts, and uh, that's one of our tracks off our uh, first demo where uh, I talk about uh, like reoccurring dreams of losing your teeth. And uh, the the drawing uh, the the logo doesn't have teeth. It just has uh, eighteen thirty seven for the grill, you know. So okay. I, I don't know. It kind of this looks painful, you know. And so I like uh, so thirty two counts would be like kind of emulating the the logo there. Real quick, hint mm-hmm. the ETS the like pain and stuff. That's where he also was like everything suffers. Yeah, and that's kind of like a little nickname for us too. Everything suffers. Okay. Oh, I see. So that's what the ATS is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we've like this guy brought it to another. It's we. It was 1837, 1837, but he started getting more into it with the everything suffers, and we're like, that's pretty oh, cool. That is cool. And I was like, it relates just like that. Because there's <laughs> a lot of when I saw it too. When I saw this, I told him this is like our Eddie from Iron Maiden. No, it's good. Because it, he actually has quite a few versions that we will this year start. But we're also gonna branch and get uh, artwork from uh, from well known artists too. We're just, you know we're not just gonna use uh, you know just my little doodles, but mm-hmm. yeah, we're gonna reach out to to bigger artists to uh, to to work with us. And uh, Ty's got some people that he knows that he 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 has uh, he wants us to reach out to. So, so very cool. I'm looking forward to that. Going back to what you said a little bit about him being your Eddie, it's it's so important. It's it's something that a lot of bands don't understand. If if your logo, if your graphic design isn't on point, you know, it just a lot of people will just forget yeah. about you. Yeah, you know, I that's mean, why. You it, think about your heroes; they all stick out like that. Oh yeah, like 100%. every band that not not the ones that are dope. Your heroes, you oh, know, yeah. the Metallica's, the Iron Maiden. You look at Slayers; you like you can spot it from a mm-hmm. fucking mile away. Pretty much, yeah. It's, and yeah, uh, I agree. That's important, man. People need to step up the logo game. Oh yeah, but a it's, lot of locals have some cool ones here too. A lot of yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. What about like like uh, the like the logo from like Sangle Sugar Bog or how do you pronounce uh, that? Yeah. Man? What? Hey, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm I like, knew I should have wore my beanie. Mm-hmm. I, I was I was like I want to wear the beanie, but I'm like I already got the shirt on, so I'll just. <laughs> Bro, I never had the sang with Sugar Bob drip on everything. <laughs> he got the keychain too, the dongle. Oh, I wish I had the keychain. Wearing their merch makes you stronger than a hundred a hundred Rodneys. <laughs> oh my god! Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you, got, you, guys, you say Rodneys? No, yeah, Rodney yeah. Radke. Radney. Radney. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, like I, I don't know if you guys uh, saw the drama that ensued over yeah. the weekend with those. Oh two. That hell yeah! So funny. <laughs> that shit was hilarious, so funny. dude. It was fantastic. It was. It, it all all over was Machine Gun so... Kelly's fucking guitar, bro. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, personally, it it looks blocky. I don't know. I, I'm like, it, it just. I don't like the design just because of how blocky it is. But I'm like, hey, by all means, that's your, you know, that's your guitar. Whatever. Right. Like, but, hey, pop off, bro. Like, do yeah, your thing. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fact that all that happened over a damn over oh. a guitar. Bro, God. people keep trying to come player. to his rescue, though. People keep trying to come to MGK's rescue like a motherfucker, mm-hmm. like out of nowhere, too. 
So like, you're not gonna say that to him. You know, the, the he's the sad... voice of our generation, man. <laughs> <laughs> the songbird of our generation. Yeah. Machine gun killer. You know, the sad part about it is, no matter how you look at it. That guitar will sell out. <laughs> oh yeah, people are gonna no, buy it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, people are gonna buy it for at the very least like the reseller price. You know, <laughs> I mean, they're gonna just because we don't like it doesn't mean someone else isn't. You know, yeah, I actually it. heard they're gonna be featuring them on Zounds now, so you can you don't even have to pay for it. You know, pay to play. Oh shit! Oh yeah, that's, they're, that's no, how. they're not. They're not that one. Uh, but... <laughs> Oh man! Uh, gotta love payment plans. Uh, yeah, I don't know. All um, right, yeah. all right. What, what, what are we gonna go? Hey, you go ahead. Time? You go ahead, Brian. You go ahead. <laughs> you first. Oh, okay. God damn it! Wait. All right. So I would say, like, what would you guys describe your sound if uh, anything, like yeah. your genre? You know, like pretend I'm an old lady on the street, and I'm like, I'm, a, I'm an angry old <laughs> man. <laughs> what music do you play, uh, young man? Miss. <laughs> Hope you got your panties on because you're about to shit yourself. <laughs> you're about to shit yourself. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> Honey, get the diaper. You're about to take yeah. my adult <laughs> diaper. <laughs> Man, I think I try to. I mean, I don't try. I just kind of flow with the. I wrote a lot of the, flow with the flow yeah. songs. Um, and I just love thrash, new metal. Those are my two favorite in the metal world. That's yeah. my shit. But everything else, you know, that's why you don't hear like your like uh, Swedish melodies, like you know, like melodic death metal. I love all that stuff, but thrash and new metal just got the attitude. Well, so I would a, say we're like I always describe us as heavy. Heavy. I say yeah. we're heavy. What are some major influences for you guys? If you want to start from, I, I guess left to, or up to down, or I don't know how you guys are appearing in 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 your screen, oh. but. Vocally, we got Cal- vocally, vocally for me, I like uh, my my favorite are uh, I like uh, guy from Red Chord, probably my number one. Okay. When I uh, started listening to him, I like I just loved his like learn his name. <laughs> this guy, <laughs> what is it? <laughs> and, I should learn. It. And uh, he, uh, yeah, I like I just love those mid those mid range gutturals. And high heat go from there to like a really super low. Um, so I really try to uh, emulate that. And then uh, I like, I, I love Kel- Corpse Grinder. Um, Corpse Grinder is like rapid flow and he's like, you know, like, I, he's almost like he's rapping almost, but uh, I love his like, he breaks up words and uh, now he and shit. Yeah. And then, uh, uh, then I'll have to go with uh, Teddy Pendergrass, man, you know. Most TP. <laughs> TP. <laughs> All right. Next. <laughs> um, I would say in my influence, there's a lot of corn. I would say if you could catch okay. it, but I just speed it up. Uh, there's a. I feel there's a few moments like a ape breed, maybe. Okay. I've gotten Judas Priest before by some old school cat, and I've heard some 90s. I love Judas Priest. I've heard some 90s stuff that was in Rob Horford or Halford, and um, it was pretty. I kind of heard what that person said, so I think we got a little Judas Priest 90s. They're heavy shit, like they're dark shit, just like the down picking. Mm-hmm. Mm. I love Judas yeah. Priest. And then any thrash. Any thrash. All yeah. of it, just all of it. Throw just, it, yeah, the, throw it inside the the. All that swag, put service. it in there. That's where the swag comes from. Just all that trash. Yeah. How about you, Tyler? Um, so like, I like playing influences and just like favorite, like get some of my favorite guitar players is kind of weird because like my some of my like influences like Terrence Hobbs from like Suffocation, oh, um. Nice uh it's like i just got a weird like music taste like i like i'm gonna say like jay mascus from like dinosaur jr it's kind of weird but like he's just the way he uses pedals and stuff like he's like one of my favorite guitar players and like in other styles i kind of try to veer off in that direction but like okay bands and shit like that like obituary um nails um terror 
like I'm really like a big like like I grew up listening to like trash talk and like ceremony these like really fast like punk bands and like in, like bands like infest and I'm like really into like grind and shit like that too so um I can't really like pinpoint it because I don't know like anybody's fucking names but like um yeah those and like a, another band that like I take a lot of influence right now from is like tribal gaze okay tribal gaze is fucking sick like their riffs are sick and then they come out of nowhere with these evil ass solos shit like that but um i gotta check them out i don't think I've ever yeah de- to death metal and thrash are like my main two guitar influences but like i like grab influence from other people from other genres too right yeah Sweet. i mean it's always uh good to get inspiration from you know something that's outside of metal because some i guess like most metal bands they don't want to sound like you know this band here you know they're trying mm-hmm. to like come up with their own sound as to being like oh i want to sound like this guy that guy you're not trying to Right, it's like a mix. Yeah, right, yeah. You, know. you don't want to directly copy pasta somebody. <laughs> yeah, no, but so, so many bands do it and it works. And fair enough, yeah. but like, no, yeah, that's that's been my thing. I'm like trying to fuse a lot of my tastes into one thing. If that I could, sometimes yeah. works, but most yeah. of the, yeah, like it, it, they somehow pull it off. But I I can't name any band off the top of my head. But there are some that just tend to be like a copy of you know each other. Yeah. And, I mean, I, I, well, for me, I guess, even though I am in a metalcore band, I mean, metalcore bands kind of suffer from that of in a way. course, shit, though. Yeah. <laughs> all the metals are the shit. Yeah, it's like all the metals are the shit, but mostly metalcore has, like, bands that, you know, will have, like, one band sounding like almost the other in a certain way as well, or sometimes just a direct copy of it, and I'm like, ah. Uh. Yeah. yeah. I feel like of sounds kind of repeat, though, too. Like, you got, like, like bands that I don't feel like they're a carbon copy, but they sound very similar to like Frozen Soul and like Bolt Thrower. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Stuff like that where it's coming back where it's so like maybe they're like, like Frozen Soul because of yeah, this guy. Dude, I, I, I was like, like you're Frozen right. Soul. I love Bolt Thrower. Um, so or like <laughs> another another good example is if you guys listen to Dead Heat. Um, Dead yeah. Heat has like a really good thrash crossover vibe, but and it's like they got influence from like suicidal tendencies and shit like that but it's not like a direct car- carbon copy like some bands will just try to like kind of rip it off and like i'm not i can't say any names because I, I can't really think of any right now but i just know that like i i appreciate something way more whenever it's just like okay that's where they got some influence from other than like damn that sounds like their whole second album you know? yeah i think uh the best version of that for me if uh you guys obviously know the band death uh, there's yeah, okay. a, there's a band called Gruesome that basically sounds like Death Junior, like down to the vocals, and they basically tout themselves as like the world's best uh, death cover band because <laughs> <laughs> all of their stuff just sounds like death basically. And I'm like, hey, I love it. <laughs> I'll, I'll gladly listen to this. <laughs> I mean, there's, I guess, another example for me. Well, I, I wouldn't say, like, these guys, Um, uh, what's it called? 200 Stab Wounds, for me. Like, I always oh, yeah. feel like they're they're like a mix of, like, Exhum meets Cryptopsy. It's like, Hell, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah, like, really yeah. Into 200 That's a pretty wounds. accurate description, though. Yeah, like, that, yeah. like when I first, uh, well, we actually uh, played a show with them when, well, back when he was in Central Disorder back in 2022. Oh, so that was, like, my first time oh, that's sick. seeing 200. And I was like, holy shit, these guys are fucking sick. But, yeah, that's. Yeah, they rip, dude. They yeah, fucking Yeah, they rip. do it. Like, that's certainly, like, the type of, like, sound I got. It's, like, it's Exhum, but I would also say, like, a bit of Cryptopsy, maybe, like, Cannibal Corpse. But, mm-hmm. yeah, these guys fucking yeah. just nail it, you know? Quick question. I kind of see a little like Sepultura in that too, like eighties. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Quick, a uh, quick question for you, Tyler. I see you have a guitar back there. Now, I've seen you use this in uh, a couple live performances. I think, right? Mm-hmm. What is yeah, the that? EX7? Uh, it's a it's a LTD EX7. Okay. See, I was it. It was you know dark in the recording, so I thought. That it was a yeah, solar. Man. I'm like, oh, another um, solar user. Yeah, so. I've a. Uh, I was actually really gearing towards getting a solar at one point, and then mm-hmm. I did the internet thing and saw that shit that was going on with the necks. Apparently, um, I don't know how oh, true that man, was, but um, yeah, I, I, I like. Yep, yep. So I I actually waited for this guitar on back order for like a year, and I thought 
damn, these motherfuckers probably just data mining or some shit and got my information or something. Cause like, I'm just waiting <laughs> and waiting and waiting. And then yeah. eventually like out of nowhere, like it, it literally didn't give me any notice. It was like, well, it, it, it just basically told me it was on its way. I'm like, what the fuck showed up two <laughs> days later. Nice. And I've been ripping ever since. Yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty nice. It's got a pretty serious neck dive on it. Just based on the fact that all the weights on the neck, yeah. like you, yeah, it's just, it's heavy as hell on that end. The body, it's not like a, like, some of the older explorer bodies I played, like mm -hmm. it's not in the body at all. It's just all on the neck. It's a baritone too, so so it can keep up to like some like some low tunings and shit. It keeps up, man. It's decent. I, I definitely like it. Yeah, I've been pretty lucky. Yeah, I normally I normally use the <laughs> Samsung seventy eight forty seven titanium alloy case. Titanium alloy the yeah. <laughs> uh, Microphone oh, cable plugs in here. I keep your uh, I'm not your inner leash behind. Oh, this. <laughs> It's as simple as that. She just stepped in like, well, actually, I'd like to use this. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> I tend to use, I actually used that in a, uh, for an intro um, for an episode, and I just couldn't keep, like hold it together yeah. with that. <laughs> 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 No, yeah, uh, but uh, speaking of that, LTD, um, so we actually had him as a guest about a year ago. Max Damsky has that same... Uh, um, uh, oh, yeah. yeah well, that's not fair. Max Damsky of Warforged has every single LTD. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> it, uh, so when we interviewed him, like, behind him was, like, a massive, like, rack yeah. of, like, nothing but ltd guitars like from one wall yeah. to like the back one i was like holy God shit damn. like i uh i sold him uh my i had an uh esp ltd ninja 600 which okay. was the original michael mott uh, michael mott signature guitar and uh, i sold it to him and he told me at the time i think he had over like 65 different ltds or something yeah, like that 64. Oh my God. it was pretty crazy i'm like man that's dope dude. i thought that's i was from, uh, addicted from our enemy right <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah it was uh yeah. it was his signature guitar before he went yeah. to dean which you know <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, why did he do that yeah well, you know they're they i, I think they're that. they're about a clean house uh yeah. as well dunzo 3000 <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame to be honest, because I actually did like Dean, but then again, um, I like I the know. dime bags. Yeah, like that was that was like that was it. I was like, yeah. nothing yeah. else. I have, a, I have a seven string. I can't remember what it is, but I'm not gonna lie. I've had this thing for like is it ten Dean? years, and it's no yeah, it's offense Dean, to yours, it's, Tyler. I love it too, but it, it well, I was treating you know, it like straight I'm shit. Not, I've never taken care who's of got it. That and it sounds ESP. great still, but I got I got oh, a yeah. the activator in it, but yeah. Nice. That's, that's the activators are sexy. Way. I love that's the activator. But they, I did, I have treated that guitar like straight shit for years. Never kept whatever through it and shit, and that thing still sounds. <laughs> that's why you got that energy in it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. It sounds pretty good. But yeah, I, actually, I don't. What, what happened that made them go out of business? Because I have no clue about that. Uh, we like, did a whole episode on on well, the I'll insanity. Well, that. long story short, they had a <laughs> lawsuit with Gibson. Um, and then there was well after the Gibson lawsuit, um, I think the mother of the CEO um, ended up suing her own son for embezzlement, and then apparently their yeah. parent company <laughs> is owed money by them. It's a whole rabbit hole in itself. Like it just keeps going. Oh, I'm gonna watch that. Yeah, yeah uh, well, we didn't cover thing. that part of the embezzlement part, but it, we just covered the Gibson versus Dean lawsuit. But. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a whole can of worms, to be honest. I mean, Gibson yeah. kind of made themselves look like clowns saying, play authentic, guys. Stop yeah. copying our headstone. I feel like Gibson, <laughs> from Gibson. Like Gibson uh, sued every guitar company they can. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> what? It, it's not their fault. You know, they make quality guitars. and It's not they, even they, that. They're. It's like, I don't know. It's like, imagine an, inventing a word. And then expecting everybody who says the word to give them like a you know whatever five cents you know, it's like Gibson created a lot of these classic shapes that you all know and love, and it's at that I mean yeah that is clearly a Les Paul, but it's not it's not the Gibson Les Paul it's got its own take you know they're just money hungry and crazy. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and then it, uh, well, Dean Dean had a lot of other problems besides Gibson coming after it, though. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. So it, it was yeah. well. Not only they couldn't sell Explorers 
flying V's, but then I think the CEO said, fuck it, we're still going to do it. So then we're, yeah. like, we're taking you to court again, Dean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so, God damn. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a rabbit hole in itself. Um, Is yeah, it it's, Dean based in Chicago or am I wrong? No, it's uh, Florida. I think it's Tampa, Florida. Oh, Florida? Yeah. I could be oh, wrong. Oh, Washburn right. in Chicago. Maybe. Maybe. I am uh, not Washburn sure. in Chicago. Brian did a lot of research for that, and I kind of was just like head bobbed I had the whole to, episode. <laughs> I, had to, I had to watch, like, yeah, I think, yeah. like three um, one hour long videos just to like catch up on everything that was yeah. going on. But it was, yeah, it was, it was a good episode. Yeah. No, I mean, I it was, it, it was fun to, you know, do all the research, but yeah, I mean, there, there was yeah. also the dime bag estate suing Dean as well before. So before, uh, the Gibson lawsuit, it was dime bag and then they couldn't sell the razor. Yeah. Banks yeah. No more the as well. dime, uh, the dime, the dime bag, bag estate, estate took, took the, any and all, you know, uh, models, uh, for you know, they just went and took the rights back, and now they're currently creating their own guitars. So soon you will see dime, quote unquote, dime guitars. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but that who well, cares, right? <laughs> I'm like, where? How did we get off of this tan uh, onto this tangent? <laughs> we were just talking about guitars, but hey, fuck it. <laughs> um, it works. It works. Yeah. Uh, where will you guys go to record this EP? <laughs> uh, Mercenary. Mercenary. And, uh, Zion. Mercenary okay. Studios. Is this uh, somebody that you've gone to before? I actually went there in 2012 when I was in Drowning. Okay. We don't talk. Oh, no, no, we don't. We don't. <laughs> just, just, just to recap where I learned that place from. Okay. And like I guess the beatdown scene. Yeah. And then, I, I, uh, I've, then chances are I might have seen you a long time ago in in said band. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had short hair. Okay. Yeah, I didn't recognize you at the time, but no, I've I've gone to so many shows like down the south side with a lot of. Uh, I was always next to Brandon Tillett. Okay. Shout out. Shout, Shout out. out. Look at that man. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Brandon. Brandon from Hostages. He's a shit man. <laughs> they all cool. <laughs> I should have worn that shirt too. <laughs> um, but okay, I'll continue. You said you're going to Mercenary to record the. EP. Oh yeah, no, but we uh we did the first uh, EP on there up uh, with Mercenary. We okay. recorded drums with I forgot who. So you. But got we did the history. guitars and vocals and Mercenary. He's a very cool dude. It's cool. I. Yeah. I'll be honest. I didn't dig the EP half of it. My guitar sound wise. Mm-hmm. Mm. And remember, there was only one guitarist. For right. like a few years, right? But, and it's also yeah. one of those things too, where you know everybody that you've ever recorded with, they evolve the way that you evolve. You know, like you get better equipment, or maybe you get better at playing. You know, or you become so tight the longer that you exist as a band. It's kind of the same thing with people who record. You know, studios who record people is they all start somewhere, and then they also just get a lot better they mature you know? like as to like what you know how they want to make people sound and same thing with bands you know band a band sound matures over time you know like obviously in the beginning you know you sound a certain way but then um i guess like the way i also look at stuff it's like man i wish you know i could have like probably sound like made it sound this way and then you know you just keep working with it yeah um, uh, <laughs> yeah we we did the new song obsolete man uh, at that's, the time, we had a. Uh, that's a actually one of my favorites, by the way. Yeah, a uh, small, uh, funny story about that song. My best friend since high school, amazing guitarist, Thrasher Brian Becerra. Uh, that man, he uh, produced a lot of my demos, helped me out, recorded them. That's a song I wrote years ago, and I was just so we tried it back then. We played it a few times, but I was just so back and forth with it. Uh, I didn't know if it was the right song for us. And he actually pushed me to put it out once we had Tyler and John in the band. And he just, I don't know, he was on my ass. And I was like, all right, let's see, let's try it. And recorded it with the bass player we had. Um, It was actually, I'm having a brain fart. Eric. Eric, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, You just forget one of your members' names. (laughs) Shout out to Eric. He uh, had a biggest brain fart. 
<laughs> You're like, huh? But I'm a shout bad. out to Eric. The, uh, guy. I just wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Calvin. I'm like, oh, uh, you're in. Jesus. This just, <laughs> Where <laughs> am I? <laughs> You're like the news, man. Yeah, yeah shout, but, out uh, Eric shout, shout out to Eric, man. He he uh, helped us. Uh, he he put in a lot life. of work. He put in a lot of work yeah. on recording a lot of these bands. Yeah, out here he, he, on he, and he, other stuff. Shout out him. Yeah. So yeah, shout out to that man. He's a he's a real one. He's cool. Shout out. And uh, but yeah, that song, I didn't know how to approach it, and we approached it the right way. And I get a lot of feedback that it's one of everyone's favorite song. And yeah, no, that's I'm happy, man, because that song, it's really a passionate song to me, and I love that everyone does it. And these guys snapped. They yeah, all it's, brought it's it. Very to melodic too. has that you know pretty sick groove to it. I think when I. I like I was immediately hooked when I saw you guys back in May at the Hidden Cove. I've been trying to catch you guys for like a while, but every time you guys played a show, something would end up coming up for me. So, yeah, it wasn't oh, until May where I was I'm like, good. "Oh shit!" Now, now I get to see these guys. That was a cool show. I my favorite part of that whole show was I uh, I get off stage and there was like a table because it was on Mother's Day, right? And I uh, there's a table of all moms, just like oh, middle age. Yeah. And they're like, yuck, man. <laughs> and they're like, come here. And they're like, they're like, what's the name of your band? <laughs> they're like, that was really cool. If only I knew what you were saying. <laughs> I, we, I, I remember I, like, we rocked the whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We those, I remember those ladies. Those are a bunch of them. Yeah, like, that was Aww. cool, but we don't know what you were. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No, yeah, yeah no, that, that was a fun show. Um, Despite. Or actually, no, I, I forgot who. I think BTI was having like sound issues at first because the sound guy was like yeah. trying to adjust their levels, but then they figured it out. Do you, do you remember what that sound guy looked like? Wasn't he like so? Ty, you remember, right? I, you know I know, what? man. <laughs> oh no! Um, <laughs> are you guys familiar with? Either. Are you guys familiar with the band in uh, the Tech Death Band in Fury? <laughs> no, or. In Fury? No. no. So I would call them, uh, I would call, so one of their former guitarists, Mike Lowe, I called him the future version of him. That's Because they do look similar, but much older. But no, uh, what, what did he look like to you guys, if anything? He was, I don't know, he was just like the perfect embodiment of sound, man. Like, he had like the, yeah. like the jean jacket and the, <laughs> and like the, yeah, just the long hair, <laughs> PBR in the hand. PBR <laughs> He had the Iggy Pop body, but uh, fucking like uh, <laughs> Iggy Pop body, like Iggy Pop, Iggy Pop <laughs> hardcore rocker metal guy. That's yeah. like shoot sparks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, to be honest, now that you now that you pointed that out, he actually did. I was like, I'm trying to recount. Did he just have like this? Or it looked like we had a mess around him a lot. <laughs> like, yeah. He was just slightly annoyed the entire time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, he, after we were done, he dug us. He was like, yeah, it's pretty dope. And yeah. I was like, thanks, man. Like, Turn the microphone yeah. up. Stop cuffing the mic. Like, yeah, stop cuffing the mic. Stop cuffing the mic. Yeah, I remember. Stop. Yeah, you are telling that. You are stop to messing with your volume. <laughs> <laughs> Or or, 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 or you try to be sneaky and try to turn it on and turn it yeah, up yourself. Yeah. <laughs> the sound guy just I, why why is it that when we sound check why do all the sound guys like through the monitors like oh, oh, I'm gonna burst like yeah. like, <laughs> like they have the worst yeah. they have the worst sound bad. Yeah, I swear like, it's like. Uh, can, 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 can I get a burst, Joe? Give me a snare. I said snare. I'm like snare. <laughs> like, I... Guitar two, are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> or they'll Lane's song, landing. Or, or they'll be like, can I, can I, can I get a guitar left? Stage right left. Like, can you turn up? Sound. I can't hear you. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you turn. Yeah, sound man turn up. That's the fucking. That would all solve right, all, all, to go. all of our issues. If they <laughs> turn it up, I think we all level up with them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I swear. I mean, there will be no more turning up because we'd be all turned up. Yeah. What's, uh, what's your favorite venue to play? Sorry. I was just thinking about sound I mean, guys. On yeah, the... <laughs> we're talking about sound guys. We might as well, you know, get tried on this one. Dude. Yeah. Man. That's a question, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Vintage Quest. That was my favorite spot. I played a that long time. That, that, that actually was fun. That was sick. awesome. What, what was the first story. I think it's yeah. Vintage Quest. Vintage, Vintage Quest? Yeah. Yeah. They, you know, they do, like, parties, um... Every so often for like his like anniversaries, uh, furniture store, oh, furniture store, okay. yeah. And for some reason, I guess because it's just 
so padded in there, so much stuff in there. Like the sounds just it was fucking dope. <laughs> the yeah, vibes were good. I've never so one knew who we were when we played that show. Yeah. Yeah, we had we had uh went to uh the north side and played uh grandma's house with okay. uh uh Malinche. Um and then we shot across the street that same no, across town that same night to play uh the furniture store at Vintage Quest. And uh it was fucking it was a lot of fun. So yeah, that's my that's my favorite spot. <laughs> yeah, we're we going only... individually or Huh? Can we go individually? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, I What's think your I favorite? got a spot. <laughs> What was the last time we played? I just can't remember the name. Oh, uh, what the fuck is up, one? Dennis? <laughs> <laughs> uh, last. You know what? Last one I thought was awesome was Liars Club. Liars, Liars Club. Club, yeah. Liars Club was awesome. Yeah, that was our first time. First time being there too. Sound guy bought a t-shirt. It was yeah. It was sick. It took a that's minute like a, for that's like a gold medal when the sound guy. Yeah. Bought. Yeah. <laughs> we no, uh, no, no. we've gotten that achievement. before when when uh, when that's we've asked this saying. question. So that Liars badass. Club is a common a common one. Um would like to play it again. It's sick. Yeah, yeah. How about you, Tyler? What's your favorite? Yeah, I thought I thought Vintage Quest was a sick, man. I, I, I completely forgot about Vintage Quest. Like the the way they had the lighting in there was Yeah. They took some time setting that man. up. It was a sick show. Hmm. Okay. Cool. I mean, I like personally, like I used to really, really like Magoo's back in the day. Magoo's was pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, um, kind of <laughs> fell off, but like, oh, when when did it fall off? <laughs> well, for me personally, I mean, I, I just haven't been there for like years now. But when it first happened, it was pretty sick. The first time I played, yeah. it was like, uh, was this before or after they had air conditioning? <laughs> oh, oh damn! I don't know. I don't know if they even had air conditioning then, but yeah, no, I don't know. see, we um. Uh, we played at Magoo's, um, the other room, the the big stage. Oh. This was like summer of twenty twenty two, I think. No, twenty one, and we almost passed out. All five of yeah. us were like ready to just. Dude, yeah, it was it was like a hundred oh. degrees in there. Magoo's and, is that that spot? Uh, oh yeah, the yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, their wings suck. <laughs> <laughs> Funny as hell. Always yeah. trash, bro. <laughs> I don't even remember their wings. I remember just every single show that I've ever played there just being absolutely livid because there was no nobody managing the lineup. Everyone went way past their sets. It's like, all right, you're up next. And it's like 1230 in the morning. And I'm like, nobody's even here. Should we even bother? <laughs> Meanwhile, it's like over 100 degrees in that in that goddamn building. Fuck. That was the yeah. worst. That was the <laughs> absolute worst, to be honest. I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I'm so sad, and <laughs> we haven't even played yet. <laughs> oh, that! Oh, you're talking about the show in March, like the last show Vicious Attack played, right? The one I, we've played a lot of times there. Well, no, so. but this was last year. Yeah, so I was filling in for his band, and yeah. we were supposed to be on at like ten or eleven. Yeah, we got pushed back <laughs> all the way to like one in the morning, and all of us were just yeah. dying. We're I'm dead. like, I want. I want to go home. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm like, hey, you, you should check out our YouTube page where we have music videos. Hey, everybody, here's a, here's another song. <laughs> yeah, was... You want a pick. You get a pick. You get a pick. Just throwing picks at people. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think the I think the one thing that um, the the payoff to it was seeing Cannibal and I think uh, Ancient Entities at the time. Oh, yeah. yeah those yeah. guys were like... Cannibal like, abortion. Yeah, we. I'm speaking of uh, I Werner Beanie, but... Yeah, no, I mean, the, that that show was, I think that was the only fun part of the show. Aside from that, you know, we were just waiting, trying not to fall asleep and shit. But. <laughs> yeah. I think, uh, yeah, I don't know, we've, we've gone at nauseum about our favorite ones, but Reggie's always takes the, the place for me. I fucking love Reggie's. Yeah, you guys yeah. Trying to get there. We, um, man, we had a, right before uh, COVID hit, we had like a run of shows, to, and we were going to play Reggie's. And uh, we had Reggie's, we had Mutiny. The Mutiny show guy put, like, canceled because some comedy show was, like, <laughs> mm. hogging the stage or something. Dude, that was, like, double booked. It was double booked. Uh, and, uh, but, we were, yeah, we were, like, right. going to the door. And they're like, <laughs> this is a comedy show. <laughs> and we, yeah, we were going through old flyers. And we just, like, shows that uh, we were getting ready to do. Like, we were going to Grand Rapids. And, yeah. like, 
and then COVID just shut everything down. And yeah, but yeah, we would have shut the fallout too. The fallout, yeah, we yeah. would have played there. That everything got shut down. The fallout's that fallout's pretty cool. I like. Uh, yeah. Have I like you have you played the Cobra Lounge yet? No, no that'd be sick. Yeah, I played it twice, but not with this lineup. I fucking love the Cobra Lounge. Uh, we do want to play it though yeah. because. I had the, I have mixed feelings with Cobra Lounge. I yeah, was in weird spots. they've they've had I a took, couple things in the past. <laughs> yeah, I didn't I didn't I don't know I couldn't vibe with Sound Guy for some reason. But oh, yeah. I want to try it again, man. He's, <laughs> I think we'll kill it. You got to be nice to him. <laughs> you got to definitely. Hey, what's, little, what's up, man? How, how are you today? I'm <laughs> hey, angry around those times. Hey. <laughs> Uh, you, want, I mean, you, want, you want a cigarette? I know you smoke them. Yeah. <laughs> That's so pretty. He's a guy. He definitely smokes yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean for for yeah for us. Uh, I, I mean going back to Reggie's. Um, if you guys ever have the chance to play there, I I'd say do it. They have the best chicken parm sandwich that I'm always <laughs> yeah, gonna be. Yeah, yeah. Um, they also yeah, they, they treat you like royalty. Yeah, you know and. Uh, they give you they, free, a meal they, ticket and they actually tickets. pay you. Let's do it, which is unheard of. <laughs> yeah, no, like they, they really, they really do know how to treat the bands there. It, it's fucking oh, interesting, yeah. honestly. You'll Food get there. Amazing. It's you know, awesome stages uh, as well. But uh, okay, well, is there? They do so, have some sick shows there. Oh yeah, dude. I next month. Uh, I'm looking forward to Vader. They're coming back. Uh, in February, and uh, Municipal Waste, they're not they're not going to be at Reggie's, but uh, they're going to be in I think Milwaukee. So me and my wife. Yeah, are gonna I was go out I there. was just looking at that. I was a little bummed out, yeah. but yeah, they had a Chicago date. Nearby. We we they saw did. it, and we're like, what yeah. the, what the fuck? <laughs> That's what I was tripping about when I was looking at. It. I was like, am I tripping? Yeah, no. Like, why do they not pick us anymore? Yeah, like any 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 metal band, they skip us now. They yeah, they no, had a date and. Municipal Waste had a Reggie's date, I believe, and I'm like, "Oh, sweet, I'll go to that." And then it just disappeared. They just took it yeah. off their fucking I, I, thing. I marked it on my calendar. Yeah. I remember that. <laughs> it might be because of the route, but a lot of, I've been noticing that a lot of like my favorite bands have been skipping Chicago. Sangri Sogobak has done it um, yeah. twice. Yeah, Black I Dollar saw my House of Blues uh, recently. Hmm. I was, was this December uh, with Cattle Decap? I think so. Yeah, yeah, it was December. Too? Yeah. yeah, I got there right when they started. I was like, oh. and my lady dropped me off. I was like, drop me off, babe. I felt like a kid running in there. I was in the pit trying to get the football in order yeah. to win some merch, but I didn't. Oh, uh, so I was right next to the dude that won it. I was like, oh, shit. I don't, oh. I don't watch no more. You don't watch no more? No, nah, I'm, I'm, getting, uh, I'm getting there. I messed I'm up too old for this, this shit. On, uh, the first time I saw them at Chaos and Carnage when I was playing murder football. So it, this is the second time I tried it, but... No Murder was... football? You know what? So... I, I, I stopped yeah. moshing a long time ago, okay. dude. But my lady got me back into moshing. Really? So I uh, shout out, out to uh... Cam, Cameron because I'd be moshing hard now. No, these things are fucking $15 at a show. Yeah. I'm not spilling a fucking yeah, drop. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true, though. Yeah. I remember I came out of mosh uh, retirement when uh, when Death Clock came through. And oh, I'm like, all right, we're doing it. We're doing it tonight. And then uh, I, I'm i like, Jesus, uh, I crowd surfed, which I hadn't done in like 11 years, basically. <laughs> I had to do feel. it. I'm like, Death Clock may never come back. So <laughs> how to feel? It was awesome. It was awesome. Hell yeah. I felt like a kid again. And then the back of my heel just smacked into some girl. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> she, was, she, she, she went down. Yeah. <laughs> Got a good yeah. memory of the show now. <laughs> yeah, it was great. And then and then I uh, was, you know, they, they throw you over. And I was, like, so close to Brendan Smalls. I'm like, <laughs> like take me take me father take me, father. <laughs> okay. take me away from all of this <laughs> jesus christ mike all right so i i would i mean uh, i think that's pretty much all we have to talk about is there anything you guys have planned uh i know you guys have a show on the 27th yeah yep. uh, so yep. this this is coming out uh towards the end of nice. january so I believe, yeah. like, I believe second to last week of yeah, January. So. So. January twenty seventh, we'll be at Archie's Tavern. Uh, I've been uh, 
Oh, we've been throwing shows there. This will be our third installment of, of this particular Ooh. show. This is our only freebies. Yeah, January. Yeah, it's free, man. It's every, free. every year we're it's doing free. it. And, hey, that's, that's so smart, man. It's, uh, it's John and I's uh, birthday, or John and myself's birthday. Uh, this time around, I got three beds. I got uh, uh, Tragic Times. I got Lights of lights Ahead, and I got, you know, then us. And uh, starts at 8. It's free. First band going at 9. And, uh, yeah, man, beers are cheap. It's a good times. Very cool. I'll definitely be there. Hell yeah. yeah. And I think that actually works out perfectly because I think we're releasing this, if I'm not incorrect, maybe the day before. The day before yeah. <laughs> yeah, which is why I was like, yeah, we, we need to bring this up. <laughs> do you guys uh, have anything else in the future coming up, or is that the only thing you got booked? Uh, currently? New music for sure. New music. New okay. music, and we're already starting to pile up some shows for like spring and the summer, hopefully. Okay. That's fucking very cool. All right, yeah. so just one plug. final question, guys. Yeah. Uh, where can we find you on, you know, the interweb? Plug all your socials. Plug all your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no sound guy on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> plug, plug all your stuff, guys. Where, where can we find you? <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, you could find us on Instagram, uh, 1837ETS. Uh, pretty sure you type that in. You can find us on uh, Facebook. Facebook. All, all the streaming sites are on. It's uh, we'll have our uh, our uh, single and all of the and the old EP on the, all the streaming sites. Mm-hmm. All and, streaming platforms on music too. Yeah, YouTube, right. coming to a free show. To, uh, it's uh, free January twenty seventh. Free show. It's our free it's, show, man. It's my motherfucking birthday. I wasn't finished <laughs> checking so guitar. I, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the toms. <laughs> all right. Very cool. Instagram, all the streaming services. And make sure you guys catch them at this goddamn show. If at not, Archie's we're tavern. watching you. Okay. Archie, anyway, shout out. Oh, here we go. You know <laughs> Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you yanked it a little too cl- too far, but I could probably you know what I'll I'll make the screen black and throw the poster right here, <laughs> right. right here, <laughs> right here. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, thank you so much for your time. You know, it was a pretty it was pretty fun having you guys on. Appreciate yeah, you guys, us, bro. That's uh, it. Bye. We'll be seeing you guys around. <laughs> <laughs>